Hey Pisces, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. This is going to be your reading. It's for anyone with Pisces placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Pisces reading for whatever reason they've been guided here. This reading will resonate now or later on. Could resonate really at any time you're guided to see it. Pisces reading for anyone who's guided whenever they're guided this is your weekly reading guys if you're looking for your big monthlies they already went out I hope you're catching them they just went out all right one more shuffle these are short weeklies this week guys because well I just put out those big monthlies okay strength card popped out somebody else had the strength card in the same spot but I think it was with the clarifying deck I believe uh, when we went to clarify um, it wasn't that long ago. I'm trying to think because it could it, it was either Virgo or Gemini. Okay, so I hope that helps. But anyway, let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Pisces. What do we need to know about the Pisces reading for anyone who's got? In fact, it was the Hanged Man, and then it was clarified by the Strength card. And the Hanged Man is a Pisces card, so I just thought I'd mention that. Okay, just so you know. Wow, beautiful energy. What is this though? The wheel of okay, so the wheel of fortune's reversed, but all right, that's okay because you're getting ready to have a new beginning here. I see. All right, give me. So you're manifesting your new beginning, just one or two at a time here, please. For Pisces, what do we need to know here? Or you're trying to, or you're having a hard time manifesting it? Yeah. Well, you're about to be okay here. So something's that's your card, the hanged man, remote hanged woman. They call it in this deck. But it was, they were both right here, but different deck. But um, it was this card, and then the strength card came from this deck for a different sign. I want to say it was Virgo or Gemini. So if you guys have anything to do with a Virgo or Gemini, you might want to check it out. Five of Cups. Okay, interesting. Um, okay, well, lots turned over, but we can't get into all that. It's way too many cards, and we got to keep these short. So... Um, I just flipped him back over. Let's see what's at the bottom. King of Cups reversed and the Ten of Wands and the Four of Swords. So somebody who's been carrying a lot of burdens is healing. But look at them very focused on their Ace of Wands. Remember, you have the Ace of Wands right here ready to come in, but the wheel hasn't turned yet. And if you look closely, there's a magician on this Wheel of Fortune. Uh, so this tells me someone's controlling the wheel, right, for the new beginning. Um, and with the hanged woman no longer being in the hanged position, uh, remember, I'm reading this because I see ladies on the card. I might say she, but she can be he or they, okay? But now we're enlightened and this is in the upright, right? So I feel as though there's something here you're now, um, you're ready for this new beginning, um, you're healing from something definitely because we've got, you know, the King of Cups reverse, the Five of Cups, the burdens on the back with the Ten of Wands and the Four of Swords of healing, right? So someone's going through an emotional time in healing here where whether you feel like you are the King of Cups or not doesn't really matter. I feel like it's just indicating that someone's been healing from something. Um, there's the wounded warrior here with the nine of wands and the strength card. So someone having the strength, this is a lot of strength coming through. And this might be why you've gotten this enlightenment and now you're ready for the new beginning. But why the wheel hasn't turned yet, I don't know. It could be because you're still healing because you still have the five of cups. You still have the king of cups. You still have the burdens on your back and you still have the four of wands here. I mean, four of swords showing that you're still in a healing state. Uh, every single one of them show you're still in a healing state. Let's find out what we need to know about this to get you out of the healing state and into the um, healed already state would be way better. All right, because it could be why the wheel's not turning yet. Uh, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know for Pisces? What are the most important messages we have here? And this might not be your energy. It could be whoever this is if it's not you, but I think it's you. Uh, doesn't matter gender like I said spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know Pisces reading for anyone with Pisces um, energy anyone with Pisces placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Pisces reading for whatever reason they've been guided here could resonate now or later one more shuffle Pisces reading all right let's take a look at the wheel of fortune reversed because that's the most important part here why is the wheel of fortune reversed Pisces reading. Why? Mm. 
Wow. All right, so we've got the King of Swords and we got a big fight with the Five of Swords, or Five of Wands here. So there's something going on about, you could have had a fight with an Aquarius, maybe even a Libra or a Gemini. Uh, the, the Magician's on the Wheel of Fortune, so there is Gemini energy on the Wheel of Fortune. So this could be a Gemini, but it could be an Aquarius or a Libra. It could be anybody, really, honestly. It could be anybody. It could be your very own energy. Um, sometimes I see Pisces as the queen of swords because you could be a Pisces, uh, Aquarius cusper. All right. So you could have a swords card come out for your very own energy anyway. But I, what I really see here is, um, now this could be that you're having a difficult time turning the wheel because you had some kind of an argument or a fight, or it could just be like, you know, the, the five of wands is often just called the, uh, battle of life, right? So it could have something to do with just dramas that you've been through, traumas that you've been through. You are coming through as a wounded warrior here, someone who's had to pull on their inner strength and get through a time of enlightenment and someone who's been going through something very emotional, unless it's someone else, right? But I feel like you could have had some kind of an argument or fight, possibly with a Gemini, maybe a Leo. All right, let's get a little bit more information here. Uh, let's look at the strength card. What do we need to know about the strength card? Well, Sagittarius too is here, but it's beautiful. The temperance card. This tells me that you've been guided and this is your energy. So you're being guided um, through something here to um, pull on your inner strength to get through a situation. Uh, let's look at the hanged woman reverse because this shows me that you have been communicating with spirit, God, universe, and getting through something. Tell me about the hanged woman here reversed. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. The moon reverse. This is a Virgo card in this deck, but it's also a Pisces card and a Cancer card and a Scorpio card. It could be anybody, but it's reversed. Um, and the hanged woman is reversed. There's enlightenment. There's information. There could be... Uh, I feel like you've received a lot of internal information here while you've been going through this really heavy healing time in your life when you put yourself in this uncomfortable position so that you can specifically see things from another perspective and get this enlightenment you've been guided the whole time it looks like um, not only that not only do we have the hermit on the moon card and we have um, temperance here and the hanged woman here we also have the hierophant here there's a lot of spiritual intervention this is the high priest and in this deck they actually call him the high priest a lot of spiritual intervention here about something that happened tell me about the nine of wands what is it you know that you felt so um like you've needed to protect yourself about why is the nine of wands here pisces reading why nine of wands ace of cups in the reverse seems to be the theme today uh, that it comes out reverse, just showing us there's a new beginning about to be had here. Um, we're almost at the very end of this, so we can have this new beginning come in. Remember, it's right there. She's looking right at the new beginning, but she's got to do something about these burdens. She, he, they, right? There's something here about one last step to having the new beginnings, right? They're right here. The nines, the tens, the aces, they're everywhere here. This is you something about and you know the justice card sits at the bottom so there might be a, with temperance here as well these are cards of balance uh there could be something that you're balancing out something uh balancing out something that happened that caused this trauma and drama these fives are not an easy place to be tell me about the five of cups The fives are difficult energy because they make us feel sad and lost and lonely and dreary. And, you know, there are times when we feel like we're going through a lot of drama or sadness. Wow. Strength again. Again, you've been carried through some pretty difficult times by spirit. I don't know if you're aware of that. Something could have happened in the past. You could have had a problem with a Leo. But I really feel like most of this is your strength. Um, even if it was a Leo that you dealt with. Um, tell me about 
why did you need all this spiritual intervention and strength to get through this why uh did pisces need all this wow this just flew out of the deck because of how you felt so trapped and you felt imprisoned and you felt so overburdened by something. And why did you feel this way, Pisces? Look at the bottom of the deck. Six of Pentacles reversed, Magician reversed, and the Seven of freaking Swords. This is someone who was um, manipulating a situation, a financial possibly, but they cause the imbalance, right? Remember, we're getting balanced thanks to spiritual intervention here helping. Somebody was manipulating something. It could have been financial and somehow you were wrapped up in this. Um, this person could have been a Leo. They could have been a Gemini, strongly Gemini, or a... Um, Virgo uh but now and Virgo's here as well but now listen I want please go watch the Gemini reading because Gemini had a very similar reading and I kept saying a Gemini could have done this to you a Gemini like a Gemini could have been the one even though I was doing a Gemini reading I could tell that some cross watcher was going to let me know the Gemini did it to them so Pisces if you're dealing with a Gemini who did you dirty please watch the Gemini reading and consider the fact that I'm reading on the behalf of Gemini but throughout the reading a couple of times I literally say some of you are going to tell me a Gemini did this to you and I'm feeling it here as well all right so I feel as though now you might not know them as a Gemini but they were doing something with money and they were juggling this money or manipulating a financial situation or something they were doing something it almost feels like um uh it feels a little bit like they were um I'm not sure let me let me look at and see why you were under all the stress so tell me about the five of cups with the nine of swords and the strength card here why nine of swords why was Pisces under so much stress and duress here now if it wasn't you it could have been your partner and your partner very well could be a Leo or a Sagittarius I feel tell me about this okay absolutely look at that look at that eight of pentacles reverse and your card of pisces the page of cups reversed you definitely were going through something financial or it had to do with work gosh i hope this makes sense to you uh let's look at this ace of wands what about the ace of wands and i definitely feel you should watch the gemini reading definitely tell me about the ace of wands even if you don't know this person as a Gemini, they could have a very strong Gemini placement. Um, like uh, that could be their moon, their rising, their Venus, their Mercury, their, it could be their Saturn. You know, it could be, or it could even be your own. This The Gemini reading could pertain completely to you because you might have strong Gemini, but I would watch it just because I feel like there's some cross-reference. And keep in mind, I did it a while ago, so it's not coming out right after the Gemini reading so I'm trying to remember but I'm pretty sure it was the I want to say definitely it was the Gemini reading tell me about the ace of wands if it wasn't Gemini it was Virgo but I'm pretty sure it was Gemini tell me about the ace of wands watch them both there you go I'd watch Gemini first though ace of wands anything at all for Pisces for Pisces anyone with Pisces placements or anyone else who's guided ace of wands oh my gosh the seven of swords came right back out now keep this in mind that give me one more on the seven of swords with the ace of wands Ace of Wands, Seven of Swords. Yeah, so you've been protecting yourself here. Sorry about all the noise, guys. I tried to pause it real quickly, but I'm pretty sure you guys got the brunt of it. All right, so you've been protecting yourself about whatever the sneaky, shady stuff is. You're going to get this new beginning and see how we go again from 9-1. The nine, ten, one. You've got to go through this tenth one to get that one. There's one last step. She holds the new beginning, but the ten ones on her are the other nine are like she's leaving them. She's grabbing that one, and you have them here, and you have them up here, and they both have everything to do with your new beginning coming in. 
everything to do with your new beginning coming in. This is very interesting. So you are defending yourself against someone who's been doing something sneaky and shady. You've, it's been very difficult. You've had to pull on in your inner strength. You felt almost imprisoned by this. I don't know what this was about, but it was something going on around business or money. And look at the bottom of your deck, the karma card. It's exclusive to the witch's tarot. Look at it. The karma card. Wow. Look. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Right. Okay. So we've got the karma card. We have the five of swords right there. Now, remember, you have other fives here as well. You've had the, the um, Hierophant, which is a five card, but you also have here the five of cups. You also have the five of wands. Now you have the five of pentacles and the five of swords and the four of swords as well, but, and the karma card. But what I'm saying to you is someone else had a whole bunch of fives too. It could have been the Gemini or Virgo reading. I definitely keep wanting to steer you guys to go watch Gemini for sure. And maybe even Virgo. I don't know why I'm saying that. But it was, well, because the two of them, I did them at the same time. So I just want to make sure I'm telling you to watch the right video. We have the Five of Pentacles reverse, the Five of Swords reverse, the Four of Swords showing that you're healing from this karmic thing. And I think this was reversed, which is the way we want it. Um, I feel like you are leaving behind a very karmic situation where you are under a lot of like this is you really dealing with a bunch of karma that came at you. This could have took, taken all the strength you had to get through the heaviness of this. I mean, you're at nines and tens everywhere. This is done. Well, you're at nines everywhere and we can see that it's one last step for that 10 for you here as the Pisces during this healing. Four of swords twice in your reading. It's here as well, right in the middle of these fives that you're coming out of. You're going through this healing. This was karma for you. I don't know what happened, um, Pisces. I feel as though you've lived through a very karmic cycle where you've had to look at everything. You might have even had to look at stuff that you did um, you know, just like I said to Gemini, I want to say to you too, uh, you know, these energies go both ways, right? So, and you'll know, you'll know what, what's your reading. I feel as though for the most of you, um, this is going to be about a karmic cycle you went through with a person. This person would probably be a Gemini, most likely for most of you, or have a strong Gemini placement. They don't have to be, but I feel that. And also, you know, I, like I said, I'd also check out Virgo if you want to do some cross watching. I don't remember what their full video was about, but I keep wanting to say it for some reason. So maybe check that out as well. You know, these are very short readings, so you could probably breeze through it in no time. I'm going to grab you some angel cards here. I feel as though um, you're about to receive these new beginnings. You're at that final uh, moment of releasing this old cycle. You're being divinely guided the whole way through it. You've been protected and guarded and you've been given intuitive information. You've been... Um, and I, like you're any minute, you're going to be able to go through the new cycle. The wheel of fortune will flip in the upright because all these fives show us the change that's coming. So much change coming in with all these fives everywhere and all these nines everywhere in the 10. Show me you're at the end of this because your aces are already here. They're right here. It's like one last step and I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, I'm not sure if it's just something internal you have to do or if there's something, but I feel like each of you will know what it is, right? You'll know what your thing is that you still have to do because it's to wrap up a karmic cycle, right? So this is for you to end it and to do this transformation, which is everywhere in your reading. These fives are everywhere. And, you, and you've kind of been living in this karmic cycle for a while. Like this is karma. You've been like, when we're in a karmic cycle until we get all the karmic lessons or we deal with the karma whatever it is we're being asked to face or deal with or we don't you know each of you it's going to be different a absolutely let me get you some more uh, get let me get you some angel cards angels what do we need to know here for pisces i think yours was one of my longest weekly readings pisces but wow I mean, this is an important reading. It's how to get through the last steps of a karmic cycle. So that makes it real important. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my God. Yes, exactly what I just said. What are the lessons that you needed to learn in it? Make sure you get it right and be flexible. 
because we can't be stubborn when we're in a karmic cycle because we're actually we're being the ones handed the lessons right so we got to go with it openness and adventure really nice these are all cards of flexibility and maybe that was your lesson to learn maybe there was something here about you needing to learn more about you know being open being flexible um not holding back or um, I don't know. I'm just guessing, right? But these, uh, but I feel like this has a lot to do with going with the flow of the last final parts of your cycle so that you can get through it, right? L just, you know, learn the lessons, be open, be flexible, you know, consider it an adventure and also be really grateful. I'm always really grateful, even though it sucks. Nothing's worse than being stuck in a karmic cycle. Nothing's worse than having to reap karma especially for things that are past life you know you don't even remember doing anything that caused this karma but you know the best thing you can do is be like yes i've learned the lessons thank you so much i appreciate the lessons i've got something out of this you know when we sit back and we've gotten something out of it i feel like that's when we're really ready for our next beautiful cycle to come in because well we've already survived the karmic one and we learn lessons and we feel good about it instead of going oh woe's me why is this always happened to me we're just going to be like yeah man i'm the wounded warrior i got battle wounds but look at me, I look amazing. You know, as much as it sucks and it stinks, the new cycles are gonna be amazing when we've learned the lessons of the past. I hope this helps in some way. Anyway, I feel like that's what's coming out in this reading. I feel like you will definitely reap a way better cycle coming in really, really soon. There's like this one last thing. I feel it with all these nines. Nine, 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 they're everywhere. I feel like there's one last thing so that you can transform completely this karmic cycle and be done with it once and for all so you don't keep living in it, right? We need that, that to go by, done with that, right? And that's where I think you're at right now. You're about ready to receive, reap your rewards for everything, you know, like I said, spirit's been here the whole time with the high priestess. Uh, no, I'm sorry, the high priest, the uh, hermit here on the moon card and the... Um, temperance card and you had another spiritual card i can't remember what it was but a lot of um intervention well you had the karma card for sure but you had another spiritual card earlier come out anyway guys good luck with this i hope that it helps in some kind of way if you guys would comment and like and remember you might not have done anything to anyone so don't feel bad that you're why would i get karma it's we all have to have karma and sometimes it's past life we don't even know where it came from but hey sometimes we do stuff to other people it happens it happens all the time just like i told gemini's i said you know some some of you might tell me a gemini did this to you some people might say a pisces did this and they owe someone an apology right i don't know i'm just saying i see that that's a very slight possibility it's probably people outside of this channel so this would be people that come in and cross watch someone that doesn't isn't a subscriber here so if you're watching this going a pisces did this to me yep they probably did they probably did but they're not a pisces that's a subscriber on my channel there's someone one of my subscribers is cross watching okay so keep remembering that when i say this could be flipped this could be flipped any reading could be flipped but i like to point it out when i see it i do see it here and i did see it in the gemini reading so especially in the gemini reading so please check it out guys thank you so much for joining thank you guys for liking sharing subscribing please check out the video that says happy holidays i put it out on christmas uh, day like morning afternoon Christmas day it came out and I make my prediction on that and it's just a very short video of me saying Merry Christmas Happy New Year blah 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 and a few other things and on that video I didn't plan on this but I make a prediction about 2023 and 2024 kind of bled into the prediction uh, so I hope that you'll check it out. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, don't forget to like the videos that you watch. It helps the channel grow and comment. I'd love to hear from you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Happy New Year.